is the intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Didn't know you were starting with Big Rev, did you? Oh, I'm big. That means I got something big and important to say. I'm big. Some of y'all don't like my sense of humor, and guess what? <laughs> oh, well, because this is where you got to come for all your information. Let's talk today about Armada chest, when to pull them, why they're valuable, and go ahead and give you a little bit of a spoiler with sound effects. G3 chest, awesome. G4 chest, terrible. G5 chest, awesome. There's your little spoiler, and now we're going to talk about when to pull them, why to pull them, when there is value. So, over the past couple of years, we've had some updates to Armada chest and Armada sourcing, and obviously... We've had a lot of armadas added to the game. In fact, there are probably more armadas now than any other individual feature, like in terms of even hostile grinds that you have to do. Seriously, like think about it. You got Texas hostiles for Monovine. You've got Borg hostiles for your Borg probe grinding. You've got free booters if you're 38 plus, so which are great by the way. You have swarms, but there are about 20 different armada types if you're counting individual armada types in the game. So the ones we're gonna focus on are the ones for the G3, G4, G5 chest pulls, which honestly, they're so valuable, you need to talk about them. Because I feel like Armada's standard Armada's have gotten forgotten about. And if you're a regular player in the game, and when I say regular, I'm not trying to sound offensive, okay? But quick FYI, if you are one of those diehard, superficial, crazy people who know everything about the game and everything there is to know about the game and everything that ever happens to the game, you know all things video might not be for you it's more for the average joe the person who plays because they enjoy star trek they enjoy the community and they feel like this game has got a little too much so this video is to remind you why you should still be pulling your armada chest and focusing in on them and you see i've got some of them here on a cooldown in the background and i need to go run more so i can pull my g4 armada chest as previously mentioned g4 armada chests are terrible in fact they are one of the worst values in the game when you compare the actual cost to pull versus the rewards now let's start from the beginning on this let's just kind of back out what we're going to do is use a very wonderful tool made by a very wonderful lady and we're going to try one to convince her to come back to the game but number two the data bot let's talk about the uncommon armada packs and this is going to focus on g3 g4 and i will do g5 at the end of this video so let's start with the g3 so we talk about the cost of pulling so the big thing is people ask well when should i start pulling my chest when it comes to uncommons always basically you should be doing armadas with your alliance enough if you're in an active alliance where you're constantly pulling these chests and it's very important to do so for a few different reasons number one acquisition of items being obviously the obvious but specific items, number one for you players out there, the ship XP can actually add up. It's not a lot, but it helps. But I want to talk about your rare directive sourcing. Because we've reached a point with between Armada payouts, uh, between the I meant Battle Pass payouts, between the Crucible of War, which are running right now, and between doing your dailies, a lot of people are stocking up and have a lot of uncommons. Now, if you're on a newer server, obviously it's not going to apply as much to you. But generally speaking, Everybody is in an alliance at this point that can run these and more so the value of these has grown over time. The lower level you are, maybe the harder it is to find the real value in G3. But I do want to point out that you're getting in tactical cores to upgrade your AC. And you can start running armadas as early as possible. Even the packs don't show up till level 18. You can still run them at level 15 if you can reach them. And then obviously at level 23, you can build the building and you're going to need the course to do that but the big thing with the uncommons especially in the g3 is as you level up you're going to use that for uncommon sourcing for your materials and then you're using it to get the rare armada directives right there at the top now here's where it gets even better once you get into the 40s this is where we talk about things getting bleh because of payouts versus the cost look at the cost here for example you saw my 49 but let's just take a look at a 42 where maybe a more average player is at 200 thousand is the pull and yet we talk about the amount of ship bps you can get which is right down here at the bottom yeah you might get a chance of getting some but the turn in is going to be very very low and he's talking about the rare armada directives like basically none like compare seriously compare your chance of getting rare armada directives in the maximum versus the g3 chest we actually encourage players to continue to pull the g3 chest especially the uncommon one that you can get rare armada directives at a better rate than pulling g4s now 
there are values to pull in the G4s, but not a ton, honestly, when it comes to the actual G4 uncommons. They're just not super valuable. If you see me on the screen here, I do pull it, but it's not a super valuable pull by comparison. You're just not getting a lot for it. By the way, always pull this. I just forgot to do that, so I'm going to do it here while we're making the video. But how about this? Let's take a look at another account where I have not pulled a lot of these older ones. So this one, I've clearly got my timers up. Now, you can use a Ripper's Mod, uh, Ripper Shenanigans, as he likes to call it, to see inside the chest. But since I haven't done that for that, we're going to just go forth and go back in time with a, another account. That's going to be a little bit easier. Wrong button. So hilarious button. This is the button I meant for. You take a look at the G3 Uncommon Armada Pack. And again, the big value here is, even though this doesn't change once you get to a higher level, you're trying to get these. And this is the best sourcing for that, even at this level, which this account is a higher level account. So you look at it here, the, just the sourcing for those is abysmal. And then you compare it to the G4 right here. And again, you can see this will be the exact same for me of where I'm at. You're just not getting much in value. Now you can argue the ship parts and everything, but again, go into like, what are your maximum ship parts here? Not very high. And even though you can pull this quite often, we've got newer things in the game that make this more or have better sourcing, like the Voyager loop and the DS9 loop. So when it comes to what the value is, when it's we're talking specifically about the uncommon chest, the really only value is those early players getting the tactical cores and then the uncommon directives. And you'll feel that pretty early on. And again, you can kind of see that here. Now where it changes just slightly is rares getting a little, just a smidgen better in terms of what you're getting value wise. If you can pull them a little bit regularly, as you see here, we're getting our Epic Armada directives, starting with the G3 chest up here. Those are level 18 through 19. Shout out to Jess for putting this wonderful graphic together. Then as you scroll it on up, you will see it change with the 40s through 60s. I don't need to go that high, so slow it down. Now, one nice thing about the rares is faction credits. That is also something that you're going to need a lot of as you're going to the 40s. But again, the value here is stupid low. As you can see, you need rare tactical cores. They do jump up to uh, 450 at level 49, but up in like starting level 40, you're only getting 20. And that is a upcoming bottleneck. So again, the reason to continue pulling this is because you need the right tactical cores, but you're not getting a lot in terms of uh, Epic Armada directives and shards and things like that. They're just not super valuable in the 40s, whereas the G3 actually feels super useful. Better Epic Armada returns. The theme of this video is continually pull your G3s. Basically forever. And then eventually you get to five star and you're going to see value in just a second. I promise. Now, one last one I want to show you is our epics. And this is the epic chart. Again, value. If you are a lower level player, your blueprints or certain ships, obviously big, not really caring at the early levels for some of the crappier ships. But as you level up, you'll start getting the, you know, Saladin, the Centurion, and you'll eventually get the biggest one, I think. And that is starting at level 36. The ISS jelly shows up in that epic chest you're going to want that one but value wise as you can see getting to the four star chest very very mad it's just not really that good there's better sourcing for a lot of this other stuff the main thing for here is again tactical cores but that's just kind of like a almost like a side project side piece type deal again i've got g4 epic chest right here and you can see sure i can get tribune blue uh blueprints but the chance of this is like less than one percent for the full pull the faction crests are still valuable though and trying to get more rare armada tactical cores so short answer as i'm showing you these values by the way this is in my discord if you're ever curious a lot of these graphics that i've shown they're all in the discord they're in the armada channel but one thing i want to give credit to scopely on is the five star chest now many of you aren't going to qualify for this chest yet because you haven't gone up into that area but what they have done i think really well is the g5 armada chest balancing now this is the new sheet here with jules and Vern. appreciate you now you can see the cost but the key is going to be how much you're getting inside those costs and the value is actually much higher for g5 than it is g4 that might bring up the argument should i wait to do my pulls until the g5 air like should i save directives and my short answer would be no because one remember there is a bottleneck on the rare armada cores you're kind of wanting to pull those but at the same time 
I wouldn't you know recommend saving them, right? I think you're earning enough if you're in an active alliance to continually pull them. And there was actually a great video that I'm uh, want to reference, and maybe I can try to grab it, throw at the end of this one that Lube did talking about getting more you know uh, currency for armadas. How do you do that? How do you find like a little spam? ways to do this because we're not covering armada crews in this video we're not covering all the ways that you can make bonus armada loot but the importance of don't forget that these are very valuable for mostly in my opinion faction credits and more directors run armadas not as much the uncommons anymore but as you can see the g5s did definitely improve now for those not super familiar with the g5 economy the costs are not the same escalation as g3 to g4 but there is definitely an escalation there if you look at what you're getting, rare Armada directives, that part still kind of meh. But don't worry, you have other things that are very valuable here. Certain officers that are only available. For example, the Doctor EMH is a big deal in the game right now. Sucks that he's kind of locked behind at the very top of that. But just letting you know, obviously the ship blueprints, when you're talking about costs, very valuable up there. But in terms of what you're getting, just a general role and how much they pay out is super super nice now you also have this chart right here that i want to throw out in terms of where they are for those curious these are the locations now you can find all this information on fstfc.space it's not super hard to find where armadas are if you use these charts or if you have it on the fstfc website pulled up but if you don't have that well that can end up being a little bit for you now generally speaking though the main point i wanted to get across in this video is to remind you of what they can pay out the cores themselves to upgrade your building, which is then increasing a couple of bonuses you have when you actually run armadas. The biggest bonus probably going to be the bonus to your actual effectiveness in armadas and also how many people you can bring to an armada. Now, because we've had so much power creep in recent years, the bonus does not feel as strong as it used to. And just to be straightforward, it's not as strong as used to the armada damage bonus but the armada size is very critical getting up to six is extremely useful for those curious just a double check there until you get to 50 to stay at six so it is what it is but that's again you're going to need to do this once you start pushing into the 50s you need to get to at least ac 46 so long-winded video to remind you that there is value in your armada chest and that you should still be running general armadas don't forget that there are a lot of researchers that can actually improve how much those are paying out for the examples that you're looking for right in here the starbase tree scroll on over you're going to find cardassian cargo plans and then one for the eclipse armadas you're going to find a rare version and then an epic version go into your starships tree you're also going to find same thing with the caches at the very end with the new monovim update so they have tried to improve the uh currency amounts that you're getting so you can do bigger pulls that's one of the reasons that it's becoming easier to do this that while the directive sourcing is still not amazing the amount that you can start earning from these has greatly increased thus making it easier for you to do bigger pulls and then you are starting to feel a little bit of value in these armadas just as a whole so a little bit of a long-winded video because I wanted to kind of show through the graphics like this one right here and go over what you actually get. The big key is G3, valuable pulls. G4, very painful, doesn't feel very good. G5, they did a great job of making it valuable when it turns uh, comes to cost versus what you're getting in return. And then more importantly, how much you're actually getting when you're going after those armadas. Shout out to John Connor, who has a loot calculator. I think we've covered that in a video, but if not, we can try to cover that in another one. Big key is doing your research to increase the amount that you're getting. Running crews like five as Captain 5-6 Con Classics, which increases the, amar, uh, the amount of Armada loot you obtain. And remembering that Armada loot is paid out through power distribution of ships, not damage done. So bringing a little ship is good if you're going to be the leader like you call the armada you're going to get that starter chest which can be really beefy which they did update the starter chest in recent years but you're not going to get any much for actually defeating said armada basic advice always be pulling your g3s pull your g4s reluctantly but don't just sit on them pull them to get what you need whether it be the blueprints or the faction credits those are probably my biggest things as well as the rare acc cores you see at 45 i am Still about 13, you know, at 1800 from leveling up to 45. And then 
epics blueprints and if you're level 36 definitely start pulling to start working on that iss jelly if you have questions about armada payouts and what to do drop them in the comment section down below live long and plunder stay safe for their space cowboys deuces that's me we out an even better outro than the intro for the empire and glory to your house